Hi friends. Good evening everybody. Today again we can discuss the difference between British pronunciation and American pronunciation. American pronunciation. Um, I have prepared a list of words. Uh, so, uh, some so, uh, sounds are same alike British as well as American. Many sounds are alike only. Only there will be slight difference. And that's only we are going to discuss. So now I will show you the uh, list. For example, we are taking glass. Glass. Now, normally we will say glass only. It's actually glass. Glass. British pronunciation. Glass is American pronunciation. So the next word is address. Address. We need not use stress address like that. It's address. Okay. It's address. Uh, when you want to tell it in a um, plural you can say or we can uh, use it as a verb also. Addresses. Addresses are addresses. Whereas American pronunciation is address. So we pronounce it as address. Americans pronounce it as, pronounce it as, they pronounce it as address. Okay. Next is this one. Normally we, we, we have the tendency, even I was pronouncing like that only ad hoc. It's not ad hoc. It is ad hoc. Okay. Ad hoc. Ad hoc is British. American, American is American is ad hoc. Ad hoc. British is and hawk. Okay. Then the last word is atmos atmosphere. So I have transcribed here. At atmosphere. So for first sound and the spelling it will be pH, but the phonetic symbol will be F. F symbol. So uh, these people, the Americans, they pronounce it as atmosphere. Atmosphere. So British people pronounce it. Pronounce, uh, they pronounce it as atmosphere. Normally, we will uh, we have the tendency of pronouncing it as atmosphere. Many people will pronounce it only as atmosphere. And when we tell, when we as far as most of the Indians are concerned, when, when we, when we um, pronounce it this way, that is atmosphere only people will understand. But long before one professor, when I was studying at school, he was discussing the same pronunciation problem and uh, I, I learned from him that it was only atmosphere and not atmosphere. And in the pronunciation dictionary also, it is proved. It, we, can, I, we can prove that it is atmosphere only, not atmosphere. And these people, uh, Americans, they pronounce it as atmosphere. They don't say atmosphere.
This is anniversary. And we, we, we have the tendency of pronouncing it as anniversary. It is anniversary. Anniversary. Sorry, anniversary. When you want to stress, you can say anniversary. But normally we will say anniversary. Similarly, British people also, sorry, Americans also, they also pronounce it only in the same way. Anniversary. The symbol only they put it in a different way. That a uh sound. Okay. And next is next word is anti American. Anti American. So they pronounce it like that. Anti American. Yeah, uh, uh, US people, Americans, they pronounce it like this. Anti. Yeah. And, 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 no, and, and, no, they don't say anti. See, for the and all, they use a sort of soft sound, the, like that, the, and, and the American, the American, or, and I, American. They use two pronunciations. They pronounce it as, either as, and the American, or and I American and for the to butter they, they pronounce it only I like but nowadays you could have observed the youngsters when they when they talk they, they are just simply adopting only American style they'll say water water they don't say water okay so butter like that Andy and the American and I American like that American, but we have to give stress to the second syllable, M, American. Okay, then next word is answer. Answer. There will be some, a sort of imaginary sound. Answer. We don't say answer, answer. Lightly the ter sound also there, be that. That's why they have put the. the Transcription, they have put the ter sound also, symbol also, answer. That, uh, that we have, we should not say answer, we must say answer. Americans, they pronounce it as answer, answer. They pronounce it as answer. That uh, er sound, in the end, there is one curve, you know, that, that's actually, that indicates that uh, flapping R. Answer. Next is normally we say aircraft, but a uh, aircraft, a uh, uh, not air. It is a uh, a uh, aircraft. Okay, this is a uh, craft air uh, a uh, craft. A craft. Whereas Americans they pronounce it like this aircraft. Aircraft. Americans they pronounce it aircraft. Britishers they pronounce it as a craft. So today I have exposed. Eight words, my dear friends. Uh, shall I repeat it once again? If you want, I shall I'll just uh, read it once again so that you can have a better, better idea. I mean, I to feel like uh, pronouncing like Americans better like that. My grandson who is living in Canada, he will say karate. Don't say karate, upper mom. Grandma, like that, he'll, he'll say. But they are following only, Canadians follow only American style. Uh, British glass. 
British is glass, American glass. Address British, address American. Ad hoc or ad hoc is British ad hack or ad hoc is American. Atmosphere is British. Atmosphere is atmosphere is American. Anniversary anniversary is British anniversary again it is US anti American anti American is British and American and American or and I American is American US pronunciation answer is British answer is American aircraft craft aircraft is British aircraft is American I uh, hope you relish the class. Thank you, my dear friends. So, in the next class, I will come with new set of words. Bye bye.